Hey everybody, what's going on? This is your girl Catrice and welcome to Cocktail Apple Catrice. Listen, the video is getting ready to start, but before we do, if you are new, welcome girl, okay? Hit that like, that share, and that subscribe. And if you are a returning Wise Council member and Street Committee member, honey, then share it with your friends, your family, and your foe. Let's get started for today. Bye. Now, let me just share this with you all, okay? So, if you're watching this video, let me just tell you all this, that the patrons knew this on Monday. Y'all late. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you are L-A-T-E. You're late to the party, okay? I even gave them a video. I think it was yesterday. Was it today or yesterday? Child? I think it was just this morning that I posted a video in Patreon giving them the full details and updates of what's going on. But you all are going to get just a little bit of taste of what has been happening over here and why I have not been live. Number one, I haven't really been inspired to go live. I'm not really right now. I don't want to talk about the church right now. I don't. <clears throat> I want to give you all... I might, I might talk about the church down the line, of course, but I want to give you all more of cocktails. So if you're not interested in that, I'm sorry, you might have to just go ahead and go. It is what it is. I don't mind people leaving. It, it It's okay. Um, But I wanted to share with you all something that happened over this past weekend, something that was very, very serious. And <clears throat> I don't have all the full details yet. I'm waiting for the investigation to be completed. However, um, as I was here on Friday night, mind of my good old black business show, I had went out with my girlfriend. We had a nice little time after work and at the happy hour, just catching up because we normally catch up like once or twice a month, but it's been months. So we decided, let's just go out, you know, chill, whatever. I had a great time with her. Great friend. Uh, I get home probably around like, I think like seven-ish, maybe eight-ish or whatever. And then about 10 o'clock, I got on the phone with one of my friends. We were talking until like a little bit after 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And when I walked into my hallway, I thought I smelled incense. I was like, hmm. Maybe, I thought maybe my, one of my neighbors or something was lighting incense, which she never does. Or, you know, smoking something, right? <clears throat> um, unbeknownst to me, the laundry room that's connected to my bedroom, to my second bedroom, was on fire, okay? Now, I have chosen to wait to talk about this on, uh, on YouTube in the public because I wanted to make sure that I had some sort of update for you all, which I really don't have much of an update as of yet because I'm still doing the investigation, <clears throat> but that is where we are. I walked out. So what I did was I come out of the bathroom. I slip on a dress. I'm not thinking. I'm thinking, well, really what I thought was, I'm thinking it's like the houses across the street from my apartment complex. I'm like, make it go be nosy and see what's going on. Well, I'm glad that I'm nosy. I am so glad that I'm nosy because had I not been nosy, my house would have been on fire. Let's just call it what it is. Um, so I got there, thankfully, uh, in, in a decent amount of time before the fire got too big and out of hand, before it set any of the equipment on fire in the laundry room that's, again, connected to my second bedroom. Uh, and so, yeah, I called the ambulance. I called the ambulance. I called the fire department. They came out. It was like two, two uh, fire trucks worth of people, plus like I think one of the chiefs or somebody came out to see what was going on. Um, they actually acted very quickly, which was a shout out to them. And thankfully, I'm safe. I did not stay in the house the entire weekend. I did stay that Friday night. I didn't. It was too late for me to leave. But from Saturday to Monday, I was not home. Uh, I do, and uh, for those of you who have been watching my content for a while, you all will probably know probably guess what I'm thinking or who I think this might be. I don't want to speculate until I know all the information from the investigation. However, I do not feel like it's a coincidence seeing as though Michelle Lau's house was ransacked a few weeks ago. Um, and no, I'm not Michelle Lau. No, I don't have kids. However, I've been covering her story consistently for almost two years here on YouTube. And so um, I have been uh, followed before. People have come to my house before so it is not out of the norm for something like this to happen uh, but the fire to me was the last straw so as you all can imagine i'm working behind the scenes on revamping some things 
and uh, transitioning to other places for safety reasons only. Uh, and so again, my patrons knew on Monday uh, when I got back home, I decided to sit down. I wrote them out a uh, pretty detailed uh, description. I probably left off some things, but I just gave what I what I could because I didn't want to leave my patrons in the dark. Um, and then I recorded a video yesterday and was posted this morning, so they have more information and updates. Um, I have not heard anything back from my apartment complex as of yet because there is a, a camera in there, but I do not. I don't think that it works. So if that's the case, then we are, we have something bigger on our hands, and I will be filing a complaint about that. Uh, all in all, I'm safe. Everything in my house is okay. Um, <clears throat> a lot of you all know, because I've been covering the story for almost two years, I, I wish that I could... <laughs> It's so funny now because, you know, I, I like my independence. I like doing what I want to do. Unfortunately, that's not my life at the moment. So several people, not just two or three anymore, have my location at all times. They know where I'm at. Uh, they watch my location, which annoys me. Because, like, what if I wanted to go out? Anyway, what if I wanted to, like, go out and do a little yana? Yeah, nah, nah. That ain't safe. But you get what I'm saying? Like, anyway, I can't even go do a one-two. <laughs> I can't even go do a one two, okay? Like that, big brothers watching me now. So, anyway, y'all just want to let you all know what's going on. Um, I I did record a video earlier today that I want to share some, share a little bit more of my life with you all, share a testimony of God with you all because I think it's so unbelievably important that um I do so. I it came to me to actually it's been on my mind for quite a while to start sharing more of what God has done in my life. And, and now you all see why I do what I do, but also sharing the things that I don't share here on YouTube, right? So the behind the scenes stuff that I deal with as a, as a person, as a woman, you know, woman of God. Okay. Like I, I deal with real life stuff. I deal with real life challenges and temptations, um, vices, you know what I'm saying? So I am going to probably drop that video probably on Friday because I might want to redo it just to make sure that I, you know, I look my best, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I wanted to keep you all posted on that. I love each and every one of you all and hope that you all are well. If you are interested in sending me any stories, go to my website, cocktailalbicatrice.com. Okay. Shout out to the people that go over there and, and, and you know what I'm saying? They just like, look at the cocktail. This is what's going on. Shout out to you all. So shout out to the Wise Council Street Committee for always keeping your girl uh, uh, informed. You all continue to keep me informed even though I'm not going live right now unless I feel inspired. If I feel inspired to go live, then I'll go live because it's got to be something that's really breaking for me to be like, don't want to break my silence today. You get what I'm saying? It has to be something that's going to be like groundbreaking and shaking for me to be like, let me go live real quick and see what's going on. You know what I mean? But anyway, stay tuned for the video for Friday. It will be dropping Friday. I'm I'm going to make that commitment to myself and to you all because the first version is done. And if I don't want to sit down and record the whole thing again, then I'm going to just drop the first version. It's already actually in my YouTube studio waiting for me to approve it, all right? And so, um, y'all just keep your fingers crossed. Uh, I will probably be dropping that on Friday. And uh, yeah, keep me posted if you all, you know, hear anything, need anything. But I am taking some much needed time to just chill and uh, work on this, of course, PTSD. Like, who like who, who does this? But it's not, I can't say who it is yet, child, but I, I, I think I know. Because who, like, who else would? Who else would try to blow my house up? <laughs> like who? And I'm like I'm not, and I'm not laughing. Like I just need, need y'all to understand. Like this is real stuff. This is this is like my real life. Somebody actually tried to set my house on fire. I'm just putting it out there. Oh God, I hate to even say that, but it's the truth. So anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you all soon. And take care. Bye.